Okay, can you see it? We do. Thank you, Barbara. Oh, thank you. So thank you very much that I can present here a work um, that I have been um, doing together with a quite a nice group at the work uh, at the Research Data Alliance. Um, I present this uh, on behalf of this group. Um, it's um, I adopt a semantic broker for variable descriptions across terminologies. And this working group um, started inofficially already to work together in 2018, uh, but we were a, a, a LDA working group from 2019 uh, to um, 21, and are now uh, in a maintenance mode. So we are um, we have already published uh, um, LDA um, endorsed recommendations. And our motivation um, was and is to, to address the interoperability, the eye of the FAIR uh, principles uh, to enable interoperability between existing terminologies and to promote the use of FAIR terminologies to annotate research. So this group um, has four co-chairs. Uh, I'm one of the, uh, those. Um, then Gwen Mwankwafe from the NERC Vocabularies. Then Anu Suria de Barayo from uh, CIS, uh, SIRO. Um, and Ma Maria uh, Stoika from University of Colorado. She um, co-developed the science uh, variable uh, ontology. And uh, also Alison Pamant and Seiko Shin Lo uh, um, were um, part of the core uh, developers of this group. So what uh, are we addressing here? What is our problem that we want to solve? Um, we uh, have the problem that we have many, many different vocabularies trying to describe what we observe. Um, we, we call them variables. Um, this is also known um, as observable properties or parameters or quantity kinds. So many of um, different vocabularies try to describe what we observe, but it's not clear how this should be described, um, how um, um, it, all these vocabularies use different grammars, uh, different syntax for, the, uh, for mostly for the same things, but it's not clear how to um, align these variable descriptions to each other. So we are interested to represent what has been observed independently of where, how, and when the data acquisition took place. Um, this could be a, an observation, a measurement, a simulation, but also a calculation. Uh, so um, we um, try to find a semantic description of this. And we are, um, we are heavily in, inspired by the complex property model uh, from Ledbetter and Thornton and sci a scientific variable ontology of Soika and Beckham in this work. So let's consider an observation like uh, mean dissolved nitrate molar concentration per unit volume in precipitation water in, uh, for example, micromole per uh, liter at a specific place um, by um, a specific method. And uh, let's um, find out what is uh, the variable about. It's the central part. It's the yellow part here. Uh, it's mean dissolved nitrate molar concentration in precipitation water in a specific unit. So we are not considering the procedure, not um, uh, the location, so the feature, uh, where this exactly has been measured. Um, so what are we going to do with this description? We can uh, find um, we, 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 we decompose this description in its uh, atomic parts. And actually, we find also that it's um, we should get rid of some of these parts because I'm not uh, really part of the description itself. So uh, mean and uh, the unit is not part of the description mean because it's a statistical um, measure and um, needs many different uh, variables or um, measurements to, to get um, to this information. And units, because uh, a variable can be expressed in different units, 
and therefore it should not be part of this description, although it's a very important information for understanding the observation. Um, so we need to decompose this in the atomic parts, and then we have to find for each atomic part the concept, um, uh, a concept from a semantic artifact to be um, understand, to understand co uh, concretely what it, um, what the meaning is of it. And uh, so we came to the uh, I, ad um, I adopt recommendations. Um, um, we come now to these recommendations where um, we can say that we find it important this, that description should be human and machine readable. Both are needed. Um, that they, uh, the description should be explicit and sufficient to really understand uh, um, what has been uh, observed and to be reusable. Um, we need semantic artifacts for um, describing um, these um, and um, to be uh, and they need to be compatible uh, with linked data. Uh, the description should follow a decomposition approach uh, consistent with the classes and relations uh, in iAdopt and the ontology of iAdopt. Um, and if um, um, we need to reuse uh, existing terminologies that are aligned with iAdopt, uh, the iAdopt framework. And if this is not uh, the case, uh, you can just extend existing variable description and create a new variable uh, fo following the iAdopt framework. So what is the iAdopt framework about? Um, it's a very simple ontology. Uh, it consists of, um, um, of uh, four classes. Um, and six relationships. Um, it has um, the main um, concept is a variable, which is a description of something observed or derived, minimally consisting of an object of interest and its property. Um, let's take uh, again the example dissolved nitrate molar concentration per unit volume in precipitation water. So this is the whole description, the whole um, description as a compound. Um, concept and um, it, it uh, can be decomposed in a property which um, is the type of a characteristic of, a, of an object of interest in this case mass concentration per unit volume other uh, examples are for example, uh, uh, abundance weight presence uh, and others um, um, object of interest is a variable um, that has uh, exactly, and a variable has exactly one object of interest, which is an entity whose property is observed. In this case, it's nitrate. The matrix um, is uh, the entity in which the object of interest is contained. In, in this case, it's precipitation. And um, in some um, variables might also include context objects, more than one. Um, and give uh, additional background information to uh, the whole description. And in addition, uh, um, a variable can also contain constraints which limit the scope of the observation and confines the context to a particular st state. Um, this can, uh, constraint can uh, limit um, various entities of the whole description. And this um, uh, specific case, it's, it's dissolved and it constrains the object of interest, but it can also in, describe conditions like at a specific temperature, um, uh, at a specific pressure. Um, and um, all these um, uh, components of um, or atomic parts, that are described are entities um, can have different roles in, um, in different um, variable descriptions. Um, so the same entity can have different roles in different descriptions. So representing the variable, um, dissolved uh, nitrate molar concentration per unit volume in precipitation water needs to have um, a compound uh, variable description um, and be addressed as, as, a, um, uh, as a complex uh, um, concept. 
but can also be um, decomposing its uh, um, different parts like property, entity, constraint, and entity, um, um, both having different uh, roles here. Uh, the entity uh, nitrate is the object of interest. The matrix is um, um, here the precipitation. And these can be um, referred to uh, single uh, concepts in a thesaurus as here in the thesaurus of uh, Oscar Thea. Um, and it, um, each of these parts can really be addressed sing, um, um, separately. So the IADOP framework has the impact um, that it uh, increases the fair level of variable descriptions um, by enabling semantically precise and fair descriptions and by decomposing these descriptions into atomic components and linking uh, those to existing vocabularies, making this description of observed uh, variables machine actionable and providing abstract reusable semantic descriptions for concrete observations. In addition, uh, it really acts as a semantic broker um, by um, um, enabling mappings between variable descriptions of, uh, across terminologies without requiring to change the existing structures, by, but um, requires to add a rich human readable and machine actionable descriptions with qualified references. And we are convinced that this will uh, not only um, increase the interoperability, but also the findability and the re reusability of data. Um, and then um, I, and I adopt comes uh, with this recommendation report with the ontology, the IADOPT ontology, a catalog of terminologies for reuse of IADOPT variables. Um, um, so we analyzed uh, more than 100 terminologies um, to find out which uh, parts can be um, described or which uh, components can be described with which terminologies. So we found out that there is a huge um, resource uh, that can be reused. And we have also a unit to property lookup so that we can find out um, from the unit which property uh, properties can be used and described. Um, metadata templates um, as nano publication and CEDAR. So um, we, we have iAdopt templates expressed as nano publication and a CEDAR uh, template. Um, we have additional material um, for alignments to um, other um, representations about um, observation measurements. We have variable design patterns, um, and um, we have a catalog of existing implementations. And we have also a step-by-step -step guide for minting new variables in the vocabulary. And these are the um, current uh, implementations we are working. Um, so I am working on ENFTAS, that's a um, vocabulary for the ELTA standard observations. Um, I have implemented um, this approach also for uh, the OBARIS project, um, for, for Monero's variables, um, um, variables uh, for uh, calculating uh, erosion. Um, and input uh, of um, um, of different um, um, nutrients in water. Then we have um, a NERC vocabulary server is implementing iAdopt for mapping different vocabularies um, uh, as as really as a iAdopt as a semantic broker for aligning these different vocabularies. It's implemented also in CF standard names, in OSCAR, in GF bio terminology server. And um, there's also an implementation of the OGC sense of things, um, which will be published soon, I think. And 
Yeah, and we are working now also on um, I adopt alignment uh, to measurement ontology pattern language. So the limitations that we discovered while working on Barbara, this is Barbara, yeah? just to let you know, you've now reached fifteen minutes. Yeah, so I'm. That's my last um, slide. So the annotations, um, uh, annot uh, data annotation is still uh, challenging because it's not easy to find the appropriate vocabulary. So uh, we need to further develop um, this approach by um, supporting this with an annotation service. I adopt annotations uh, depend, depend very much on how the content in tabular data is organized. Um, so here I th we think that the annotation template can help. Um, by design, same entities might have different roles in different variable descriptions. Um, but this is uh, uh, somehow confusing. Um, we will demonstrate that this is not um, the case if you apply the same variable pattern. Therefore, we have to work more on variable design patterns. Um, aggregation uh, levels for variables um, are needed to accommodate uh, essential um, biodiversity ecosystem marine variables. So we need to extend uh, the framework um, via aggregation design patterns. And uh, we need to understand how to use IADOPT in context with the different measurement observation ontologies. So we have to analyze alignments by using um, many measurement instances of um, their different complexity and yeah, demonstrate how this works. So um, we are working really on services. Um, to um, have converters, connectors, and dynamic mapping tools at hand for, uh, for researchers to annotate their data. Thank you very much.